Hello, Monster Man here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 25 of my Kugath campaign. Where we're continuing to try and uh, finish up the Darklands, hand that all over to Tretch, so hopefully he can do something. We're going to try and kill Goldtooth, and then we're going to try and uh, sweep westward across the Empire. With any luck, fingers crossed. Anyway, so... Our Valmir Cools are keeping an eye open. They are the first line of defence. Should anyone come near them, they explode and shower them with plague. I wish you sickness. But not death. Yes, we get it. Okay, no, we're not being friends with you, Dungra. Unless you want to, like, s surrender to us? Hello. Okay, this is fine. I mean, as long as the land is completely plagued, the likelihood of them actually being able to do anything in these settlements is is pretty fucking low. Uh, what? Did we have a rebellion here? Do I want to try and defend? Or do I want to head... Okay, let's... Let's, let's, let's try and defend this place. So, pop you. Uh, let's set the replacement. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to cancel that. We're going to whack the growth plague on this place. And then this should all be one turn upgrades. Ah. Except we don't actually have any money. That's that's a slight that's a slight concern. Could we put a sacking plague on you? Okay, 9k is fine. Just, I just, I just need some more money. That's all. Not, not you. Right, Rick, get in there. There's rodents. That's to be expected. It's their army. Uh, let's. Is it is walled? It's not wall. Okay. Uh, probably a Skaven settlement was painting us. Is it a Skaven settlement? Let's have a look. It is not. I mean, they don't have many missile units, so I think I think we should be fine. Ah, using the Skaven's own weapon against them. I and mean, obviously, this is. Who are these from? The clan? Clan? Is it clan? Rictus? Poison Wing Globe it is? Anyway, it looks like the clan rats are charging towards us to try and get to grips with the Poison Wing Globe it is. Unfortunately for them, they quickly get intercepted by the rest of our menagerie. They're quickly sent scarpering back from whence they came. There is a lot of so many rats here. How many? Fourth of four thousand. Four thousand rats. Our number is four to one. Right, we're the Pogue Toads hopping into combat against the Night Runners, which they should be able to deal with fairly easily. Mind you, they do have a lot, lot of melee attack for some reason. There's a big blob of rats over here who are trying to keep more Plague Toads at bay, but if we could just push back, we could, you know, basically we could get a nice little surround on them, should be fine. Crossing the uh, little causeway there to attack what clan rat spears and uh, s slaves, I think. Or maybe they're slingers. Or maybe they're dead. Maybe they're Maybelline. Ooh, nasty. Now we do have this. Warlock Engineer back here with Warp Lightning, and he's already killed 42. Which is not ideal. Very rarely do you run into uh, an enemy caster who's actually vaguely effective. Most of the time, they're just trash. So, I mean, it's not like... It's not like they couldn't be good. It's just for some reason the AI doesn't seem to recruit 
casters all that often, so they're never really an issue for you to deal with. But yeah, when they do... Ow! Son of a bitch! I should not clump my units up. That hurts. Oh, god damn it. Ow! Still... Poison Wing Globes raining down on the light runners there. And we're getting some good hits over here as well. We've sent Dr. Rick Douglas to assist the Plague Toads. They're making short work of these clan rats. We're getting hot to death. However, reinforcements are on their way. Large blobs of storm vermin and clan rats with spears. Obviously, they're going to be pretty effective against the, the Pox Riders. I mean, not very effective, but... You know, they'll be better than nothing. But looking at this big blob of... Uh, of various different types of... I mean, we could... A Blight Boil there would be pretty good. Oh, yeah. Elsewhere, we're now pushing further into the settlement, breaking past the defenders there, pushing further up, grabbing that objective. More clan rats being summoned in. Uh, it's a bit of a mess. The Plato's do seem to be coming out mostly on top. We're going to drop a blight boil right in the midst of all of these storm vermin. Fantastic stuff. That took a big chunk of health out, which is uh, just as well, because those those Storm Vermin, I mean, they do have that, that quite nasty, that Cavalry Bane effect, uh, which isn't a huge problem, but they also have that Anti-Large. They've only got 23 weapon strength. They do get a bonus of... How much bonus versus large? 25. So actually, that's, uh, that's pretty nasty. We need to really tie up this Warlock Engineer. He's got 145 kills at the moment. That is not... That, that, that's bad. Also, he's shooting me with rockets. The, the Warlock Engineer rockets, which rarely do any damage whatsoever. Like it, ju it just seems like a waste of skill point, because I don't seem to do anything. Murdering our way through uh, Clan Rats. Looking at numbers here, we can see that... Uh, yeah, the numbers have dropped over, over half. We've killed over half of their the garrison and army. Fury is coming down to attack the clan rats. They should be pretty effective there. Just mopping up the last of the storm vermin. They have they have done a nasty chunk of damage to us. Again, that, that 25 bonus first large does get added to both their melee attack and their weapon strength. So they're going to be doing a lot of, you know, getting a lot of hits off and also doing quite a lot of damage to the Pox Riders. Fortunately, you know, we massively outnumber them. And so we are gaining the upper hand here, which we can then surge up towards the city centre. Grab that one. They're, they're, they're still throwing more rats at us, aren't they? It's just the Skaven way. Keep throwing rats at the problem. In this case, though, things aren't looking, well, particularly great. Little backhand there. In come the poison wing globes raining down on basically and yep there we go they they all died apparently which is good oh the blight boil it's just a very effective little spell isn't it that's it get close Ooh, that that was that was pretty brutal that was that was very brutal yeah they're down to 1500 out of almost 5000 Looks like most of the Skaven are now fleeing back up the hill. Just a little chieftain there holding on to the city centre. But here come the Pox Toads. Pox Riders. The Plague Toads. Pox Riders. There we go. Between the Barons of the Bog. Who are a slightly different shade of green than the rest of them. So there we go. I think they're pretty much the same in every other way. They're just a slightly different colour. Rampaging through the last of defenders. Still a few holdouts here, but it's just really just the enemy warlord, a rat. 
character's name. It's a little bit on the nose, considering he is a rat riding a giant rat. But still, you know, he's he's doing his best. Bless him. He's trying. Unfortunately, it, all of his friends are dead. I say friends. Obviously, this game don't have friends, but... Isn't it amazing how when the... When the AI actually uses spells, it can actually be pretty effective. Most of the time, its characters just don't use them. Okay, we'll grab this one. Oh, I think I think Rick may be about to. Uh... Has it become a greater demon? How exciting. Uh, let's go... Uh, no, not Fate of Not Fate of Buna. Okay, they've taken that one. I can always come back and sort that out. Uh, you are hopefully just going to die of corruption. We've got some money coming in now, which is good to see. Uh, I probably do want some... Want some ground clean ones? I, I, I kind of do. A new way to share love. I kind of do. Can we only summon units our own territory? Because anyone can global recruit, right? I guess we don't have global recruitment because we are we are an encampment stance. Can't su so I mean. <sighs> What? What? I mean, okay, so so Nurgle can recruit an entire stack of troops in one turn. He can do that. That is something he can do. Which is quite strong, but they, they start off, you know, on low health anyway. So realistically, unless you've got a couple of turns to replenish, it's not really that useful. I mean, you could top yourself up, potentially. You could, you know, but if there's, it's like, like a proper enemy army bearing down on you. It's not going to be that useful. You need a couple of turns minimum. But you can't global recruit in enemy territory. It has to be your own. And your recruitment... Now, obviously, at this point in the game... Mostly because I can't really recruit that many units. Um, I do have a lot of units currently stored up. So we've got, like, you know, 15 there. Four, no, that's just... That. We've got 32 there, 34, 8 there, 24, 34. So, you know... We've got a lot of units in the bank, but that's because we've got the buildings and we've had the time to kind of like store them up. Now, obviously at the start of the game, you're kind of screwed. And this is something that... So I, I played a nice big multiplayer game with a bunch of other content creators. A lot of fun. But because it was so... Because there were so many of us, fighting battles took fucking ages. And so we were trying to sort of like play through it as quickly as possible. So we were auto-resolving a lot of battles. And obviously the auto-resolve in Warhammer 3 is really fucking nasty. What that meant was that by the end of, of the game we were playing... And this was like... I, I think I just about managed to take Draco Wolf. I think that was it. By that point, I'd taken my province. I had taken my province. At that point, I had no fucking units left. I had nothing that I could recruit. I was down to building an outpost in one of my ally settlements and global recruiting the allied units because that was the only thing I had access to. I didn't even have Nurglings. Now... There, I, I do feel that Nurgle does need a little bit of help in the early game to get to a point where he does have some units available. Now, he does start with like a little stock of units that he can recruit, but I, I feel like there needs to be something early on that just kind of goes, okay, here's, here's like, I don't know, 10 of this and 10 of that. Just to, and you, you do get events occasionally that do, do give you like additional like stacks of troops, which is useful. But maybe like when you build the building, it should give you like five plague bearers or something just to kind of get you started because otherwise you're kind of screwed 
Like even if you, know, you, you, you build this, it gives you a Forsaken. You build this, it gives you a Plague Bearer. At least then you don't have to wait because you need to build the building and then you don't even get it for another four fucking turns. You don't even get the fucking unit for eight turns. You build the building, it takes eight turns to get a fucking unit. It just seems madness, doesn't it? Absolute fucking lunacy. I... I... I, I, I like the, the theme of Nurgle. I like it. I like what they've done with that. But it just doesn't feel like Nurgle's very well balanced. It's like they, they had this idea and it's a great idea. I really like it. But they didn't know how to sort of like balance it with the other factions. And so I think what they've done is they've gone too... They, they've, they've worried that it's going to be too strong. So they've made it really weak. I think that's what they've done. They've gone, oh, you, you could just summon entire stacks. That's that's too powerful. So it needs to be, you know, they need to be at 40% health to start off with. Also, you, you don't have anything you could recruit. Also, it costs a fucking bomb. Also, you have no economy. There, that's balanced. No. Oh, it... it I'm, I'm really hoping they, they change up Nurgle's economy in Immortal Empires because it's so fucking bad at the moment. Genuinely just... Oh, it's, it's like pulling fucking teeth. I mean, look at some of these settlements. This this one's my best with 3,700, but my starting set... It, it never gets over by 2.3. 2.3k is usually the best I can do here. This one's actually not too bad. It's because we've got a couple of resources here, which have helped. That's getting, you know, increased our income by about 15% there, 15% there. So that's, that's actually fine. Um, this this is you know okay, but it's the only one. Like two k here, none of these buildings are making much money. I mean, I need to replace this building over here, uh, which I could do with maybe this one. I mean, what's going to make me the more money is the the question really. So they're all one hundred and twenty, aren't they? One hundred and twenty, one hundred and twenty, and you are going to be one hundred and twenty. So it doesn't really matter then. Um, so I could maybe do that. Or happy building? Or make things faster. To be honest, that doesn't really affect... And the cycle time doesn't really, like... I don't know. It Like, going, going through the cycle faster is obviously better, but it doesn't really help your economy. I think linking the economy to, like, the growth cycle, probably not a good idea. Um... You know, you know what? Thinking about this, thinking about this, you know what I would like. You know what I would like Nurgle to have is a, an economy building, which maybe doesn't have any income itself, but gives the entire province a buff. Which means each time it goes through its entire cycle, it increases the total economy for that province by one percent. Now, obviously, you'd have to balance that around sort of like, you know, how how fast is this going to be? How many nodes does it have? That kind of thing. But if you had a build, where you, like over time, it just got stronger, stronger and stronger and stronger just over time. Now, you know, maybe it would take like 20 turns to get 1%. You're thinking, well, that could be overpowered. But you think, well, if it takes 20 turns, let's say, you know, you play a 100 turn game. At that point, it's 5%, right? If, if you build it on turn zero. But it's just one of those things where it would just gradually increase the percentage, just give you a little bit of money each time, just give you a little bit more. And so eventually your province would be pumping out money. Might, to be honest, 1%, if it takes 20 turns to give you 1%, that might be a little bit underpowered. Might need a little bit better, but I just, you know, that, that would kind of make the, the Nurgle economy better because it would, it would just slowly increase that amount of money and just, and just kind of give you that sort of like rolling, plodding, inevitability that I think Nurgle and I think that's why because like the, the, the whole cycle of growth and decay is is fine but it doesn't really seem to give you anything like you know you, you get you get to the max rank and then it just drops down again and a bit that you only need to spend like you know 5,000 for this building whereas other factions need to pay extra money to upgrade their buildings but they degrade themselves so you get to this rank and then it just immediately drops down again so I don't know. Either it needs to give you like a, a boost or something when it drops down. Or 
I don't know. But it, it just doesn't... Like, the highs don't feel very high. That's the problem, I think. If, if, you, if you were making a load of money when it hit, like, level 5 or whatever, then I'd, I'd kind of be better with it. But at the, at the moment, it just feels very, very lackluster. And I, I love Nurgle as a faction. I think he's great. But I think a lot of what, like, Nurgle just feels... Other than it's, it's sort of building stuff, it feels like a very bland faction overall. Which is a bit of a shame, because, you know, in, in some places they've done the thematics for the, the faction really, really well. But I think overall it just... I think that's why Nurgle maybe isn't played as much as some of the other factions. Just because he just... He, he feels quite weak compared to... And I don't think he is. But I think he doesn't have as many tools as some of the other factions do. Settlement besieged. Kislev. Oh, you're finally besieging it, are you? With... Wait, hang on. Uh, yeah, okay. No, no, hang on. Hang on. I'm, I'm sorry. S s ah, uh, take my place, exalted one. Sure. Um, I'm sorry. Th 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 Theodric, th mate, um, I can't help but feel that I, oh, your entire army's pooped itself to death. Okay, well, that was g good. Um, thanks for popping by, I think. I've got under siege of you. Uh, okay. I mean, that's not the worst thing. We could come and down and take Prague. Or I could come down and help this out. Um, tell you what, let's, let's come down here. Got the plague there. So we can repair that. Uh, we can build that one. Do something like that. That'll be fine. Uh, Plesk needs... Oh, yes. Defences until we can work out... Ooh, let's get some dies. Uh, actually, no. Can cancel all that. One, I don't have... Well, actually, you know what? Money's not too bad. This is another problem, though. You have no idea how many units you can afford. Gen genuinely just... Impossible to know. Because your income's always going up and down all over the place. So it's very hard to actually work out what you can and can't afford. Still. Welcome to the Deep Warrens. What do you need to It's lovely to be here. Mount Grimfang. You can have that one. Um, yeah, I'll take your money. Thank you. It's not that sneaky. Right, we'll come over here. We'll grab this one, finish these guys off, and then Dr. Rick Douglas is, is raring to go. I, bow only before uh, I think you're bowing all the time because you're pooping yourself to death. Okay, let's go and assault these guys for no particular reason other than to try and slow them down. Where the fuck did you get the spot? Oh, you, you've allied with... You've allied with Kairos. All right. Fair enough. Never mind. Okay, this is a little bit of an issue down here. It's not the end of the world. And I would like, yeah, we, we, if we can, if we can kill Goldtooth, that will relieve a lot of pressure on the Dark Clans. And then obviously we can get Doctor, well, Father Nurgle. Doctor Rick Douglas. Uh, let's go with some spells. Everyone loves a stream of corruption. Alright. Where's that last settlement? Oh, there it is. Okay, you go and deal with that. Eastern Orblast is just going to sit there for a minute because we have... Well, you know, we, we, we do have some money. It's just not everything I need. Do you have plague? No, you definitely do. You definitely fucking... You've got the Plague. You've got the Lurgy. You've got Cooties. And this looks fine. It's also giving us some additional units that we can... You know what I should do? Is... Pestilence is a blessing. Soul... I need a Soul Grinder in this army, I think. I think that's what we need. We need Soul Grinders. Imminent Rebellion. Where? East Blast. Okay, well, that's... 
That's fine. Well, it's not fine. But it's going to happen anyway, so I may as well just accept... Accept this. Hello. Um, you are... You hate all the people I hate, so I will agree with that. It's amazing just how well... Kairos is doing. So I, don't, I don't mind the rebels having that settlement, to be honest, because it means that... Oh, Nordland are dead. Who the fuck killed Nordland? Who the fuck... Carl, did you kill Nordland? Okay, plague, 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 plague. And looks like we have... Castelton! Wait, do you have bears? No. I mean, you've got the one bear. It's just the one bear, actually. Okay, we will retake that. I'm hoping to hold on to this. Uh, it would be not... The f You've had a rebellion, have you? Okay. Cool. Very cool. Let's continue our meander. I like... Like, I wish there was more, like, that, like, more different little levels on, you know, little cliffs with settlements on them, that kind of thing. That's, I like that. That's really interesting. Okay, let's go and squish Karak Krakenton camp. They pooped out. Boop. Uh, let's take the replenishment so we can continue on our merry little way. Ooh, that's going to be a 10k sack. Is that because we've got the... We do have the sacking income. I, I do want that. The joy I think... I think we will take that. Oh, have they taken fucking... Oh, for fuck's... Guys! It's not... Get, okay, well, if we, if we come through the mountains, we can come back out. and It's just like a one-way trip. All the way around. That'd be fine. Elliot, kind of a scarred veteran. Good job. One. I guess they took it. I mean, you're suffering from plague. Need to need to squash some of these. Squash these little. Hello. Okay, with any luck, if we kill you, you won't have anywhere left to go. I hope I'm not going to have to do all the work for... I mean, Tret, Tret should be doing some of his own dirty work, surely. Surely. Surely? I like how we're just... Um, how the fuck have you got two armies here? I wish you sick now. Non aggression pact. I'll take it. Uh, you are... Oh, my God. You're actually mobili mobilizing an army. You're mobilizing. Ah, the tech. You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see all the, like, preferred strain, like, all the different... T just just roll it into one. Just so, you know, mount... So, maybe, maybe do it so, like... You have... Um, climates that Kugath likes... Which are snowy, wasteland, chaotic wasteland, temperate, temperate island, and savannah. All of those should be amalgamated into one, so you get like a bonus for like 10 growth and 25. So good. And then unpleasant and then uninhabitable. So I think that would be be a good good idea, personally. Just to just to amalgamate this. So you, you know, you've got big It's more useful across the board. Also. Uh, which one is it? Viral incubation. We know where Kugath starts now. It's nowhere fucking near Chaotic Wasteland. Not even close. In fact, it's it's going to be a long time. So this 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 technology is effectively useless in Immortal Empires because you're not. There's no point researching it early on. 
I mean, maybe later on, maybe. But to be honest, at that point, you should have, in theory, enough money and growth that 10 growth and 25% is, is going to be pointless. But th th this is a tech that was designed with... with the Realm of Chaos campaign in mind. And if they don't change it for Immortal Empires, that is going to be a f just just a waste of, of time. Uh, let's get strain resistance, I guess. I guess. Can, uh, you, you're going to run away, aren't you? If I come through the old forests here... If I come through the old forests, do a little bit of an ambush, see if we can lure you in. I don't know what what you're up to. Decay is Oop, ba -doop, ba -doop. I don't think Rick is going to have too many issues with this one. It says Pyrrhic victory, um, but we're not going to lose anyone, so that's fine. Uh, let's loot and occupy. Okay, that should leave them with basically nothing. So we'll just heal up. Let's get Children of Nurgle. Rance Visitation is always a nice one. Gift. Then we'll give that to... Give that to, to Tretch. Yeah, we can just bop you, can't we? And we can sack you as well. And then I can just take you over. You ain't boss. Uh, disagree. I am large. I am in charge. Okay, then we can just continue up through the mountains up to the Great Hall of Greasus. Hopefully that'll give us a nice big payday as well. 10k? Okay, I'll take that. This one, 3k. This one, 5k. I mean, it's not ideal, but... It's something, so I'll take it. What else we got going on? One... Just so many little shitty camps just dicking. Hello. Okay, you're just going to die of plague, which is fine. I wish I knew what you guys... It looks like you're... You, you do realise the caravans bugger off after one, like, you know, they'll, they'll be like miles away. You'll never reach them. Why... What... What? What? Kairos, can I just have a just just a second? Um. What? Right, I can't help can't help but just just throwing this out. I can't help but notice that you are actually seem to be attacking a caravan the other side of the fucking world. Is, is there a particular reason for that, or...? What? C c you know, you, you've got... I mean, uh, you, you've got slightly closer enemies than... You know, Zhao Ming's just over here. Um, don't know if you noticed that. Appar no? Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, well, fine. Okay, well, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's good, 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 good. Good, good. <sighs> what? Why is it? Right, What? why is it my allies are chasing a caravan across the world, whereas my enemies are laser-focused on targeting my settlements at all costs? You know, is that is, is that unreasonable for me to suggest that maybe, just maybe, my my allies shouldn't be brain dead? I mean, it's it's not it's not it's not hard. It's you know, there's a bunch of camps out here. They are easily auto resolvable, particularly by the armies that the Skaven are fielding. So what? Why? 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 Just why? 
Just why? Just. Just why? Right, well, we were spotted. Depends who we were spotted by. Uh, you're going to just escape across the river, aren't you? You, though. And do I care what happens to Volksgrad? Not really. I mean, Plesk should be fine. That's got a reasonable garrison now, so we should be okay there. So maybe I just want to kill Castalton. He does have a shit ton of missile units. So this is going to be... Tricky. Uh, so many Kossars. Not even the armoured variant either. Just the annoying, I've got shit tons of bows guys. At least we have artillery, so that's something. We've got artillery, we've also got our plague drones, of course. So we can bring them in to, like, tie up missile units, but we need to get their attention first. So, we have been blasting them with our artillery, doing quite, quite considerable damage already. 60 kills there, 28, 60. See, already these units have taken a bit of a blasting, which is fine by me. Just got to keep that up. Keep up the pressure. Just whittle them down a little bit. Because every single one we hit with artillery is one we're not going to have to take missile fire from. Some good hits in there. Taking out those Kossars, which is good. I'm giving them a, a wide variety of different targets to hit. You can see these guys down here. Ooh, getting Kugaths. Nurglings thrown at them. Oh, you know, there. So, most of Kostaltin's forces are sort of like holed up around the city centre, which is here. So, when the city grows, you kind of get this area as well to, to deal with. So, there's like bridges across there, I think. And there, is there? And then you have... There's wall. There's a wall here, isn't there? See, so yeah, it kind of kind of grows like that. And there's a big wall in the front. It comes down here somewhere. Maybe it just goes straight across. No, it's definitely just like I think it's, it's like a like a bit here. There's a, there's a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's how cities. I, I like the fact that you know there's like different levels of cities and they look the same and they kind of expand as time goes on. That that kind of that's kind of cool. I quite like that. If I lose a little bit more variety, I think a little bit more variety would be nice. So we'll get some good hits. Looking at numbers, I mean, they've lost a fair chunk of their forces. Which is reasonable. It's just every single one of these bastards has a bow. And, you know, reasonable melee stats on top of that, which is unfair okay so we're now advancing so you've got two groups effectively splitting our forces in two one group is going to push up the hill another group is going to push up the little little canyon little alleyway under the bridge and try and batter their way around the rear something like that we'll take it and then we're going to use the plague drones to try and get the drop on any other unit that is outside of that. So basically, we're trying to cut the city in two, and then we can use the plague drones to like knock out these units, and the rest of our army could deal with these units. That means that they, you know, we won't get any like fire coming in from this side because all these guys will get eaten by by giant mutant flies. Gonna trap these cossars. Yeah, that's right. We're not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with us. Now we're going to take a little bit of... I say a little bit. We're going to take a lot of missile fire here. But that's fine because they're wasting ammunition on a summoned unit. So who cares? We have one of our great unclean ones leading the charge. Unfortunately, he, he, I mean, he, he does have 20% missile resistance. He also has 20% physical resistance. He's also a great stench lord. 
What's that do, Stench Lord? And then Greater Stench Lord. So he gets additional less than 50% in melee. Uh, so he gets more. Not entirely sure. Anyway, he's getting shot to pieces. He's getting shot to pieces. We, so he's dropped a heal on himself, which should help. How he managed to miscast his own heal, I don't know. But there we go. Plague Drone's coming down to attack the Kossars. Because though, is coming to help them for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. But that's he's a big, hairy, unwashed hippie. So it's not a massive surprise. The Plague Drone's mopping up units all over the place. But we need to get Doogie and House over to deal with Castalton. They can deal with him. Meanwhile, our great unclean one is still alive. We've been we've been healing him up, but he is taking a lot of missile fire. Like he is soaking up basically every unit nearby is unloading everything they've got at him, which is not really ideal because he's losing health very, very rapidly. The other great unclean one's now crossing the bridge, moving up to attack. The city centre. We're gonna get a couple of uh Ooh, good hits. And Blight Boils. Bop. Ooh. Yep, that, that that killed a lot of stuff. Yep, that, that, that did kill. That killed a lot of stuff, which is good. Okay, we've got House and Doogie attacking Castalton together. They are wrecking him. What with Spirit Leech and Rancid Visitations. That's that's two two health debuffs. He's losing like over 200 health a second. And he's dead. Well, that he did not. So, to be honest, both of those guys together are going to very easily take out enemy, enemy, any enemy characters that they come against. Uh, poor old Grand Clean One has taken a lot of damage. He's still okay. Uh, we're probably going to leave him out of the rest of the fight because he needs to heal himself up, ideally. Continuing to push further up to the city centre. We're almost there now. Despite taking considerable missile fire from literally the entire army. It looks like... Looks like we've almost done it. There's not much left. They're falling back on all sides. We haven't lost a unit yet. In fact, you know what? We, we have lost barely anyone. It's just that we've, we've lost a lot of health. It looks like they're doing a lot, a lot of damage, but actually they're, they're really just concentrating fire on the great unclean ones, which isn't the worst thing because we can just heal ourselves up. So, for example, here we're healing ourselves up, healing ourselves up there. So, and, and, and we've got our heals on top of that. So while they may be throwing everything they've got at the great unclean ones, to be honest, it's probably the worst choice because they're not going to take any of them down. They're basically going to do zero damage to this army. Yeah, they're having, they're having a bit of a rough time. More heals being dropped on us there. And you can see that health is, is looking pretty good now. And the army garrison. Settlement garrison, I should say. Is now starting to break as we mop up the survivors. Ugh. So many archers. A new testing ground. The important thing is they're all dead now. That's what makes kids left so nasty. Just, just so, so many archers. It's like, fuck me, guys. Calm down. Right, not everyone needs a fucking bow. Uh, what do you want? So, no, got that earth thing. What's to stop blowing yourself up? I mean, that's. Probably useful. Okay, we just need to mop up the the last few little bits of Castalton that we can chase him down here. But importantly, more importantly, Dr. Rick Daglas is now on his way. We can bring him through here. Maybe grab this on the way through, give it back to Clan Grissus, something like that. Uh, probably a good idea. It does look like 
You know, they've got some they got some lads there, which is great. Uh, hello. Are you rebels? Cross the club rebels. Yes, you are. Okay, we'll murder you and take 69 flies. Big, big fly action there. Let's give you a replenishment plague. There we go. I'll keep you going. Uh, one more skill points. Where is it going to be? Where would it be best off, do we think? Could get another. I mean, Rancid Visitations is just a generally good spell to, to whack on people, isn't it? It would be nice to get Renown of Fears, but it's fine. Look what fathers found, children. It, it's fine. Father okay, we can get along. You've got some friends, I see. Okay, we'll have to deal with them. you still got Plague, and Tretch seems to be doing okay. It seems... seems seems to be doing okay. Can we have a look at that? Uh, see. Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll keep protecting him. And then hopefully maybe he'll run some interference for us. Unless this was a terrible idea, we should just take it all for us. Maybe that was, maybe that was the better. Right. Would I still be fighting them for it as they just like surge out into the wastes and just take all my shits while I'm busy with my two little armies trying to, to force them back? I genuinely don't know. But the, that'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.